Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a drop-down list using the sheet names in a workbook. So this is the data validation and the data validation comes with the sheet names in this file. So after that, when you have this data validation, um, you'll be able to, to get the value of the product as well as the total sales from that sheet. And let's begin with the uh, a different workbook a blank workbook we're gonna start here in this file the first step is to uh, create a list of the sheet names I'm gonna call it a stable reference and then uh, I'm gonna name it as sheet names and then manually typing in the sheet names see but if it includes a lot of sheets in one work file or workbook you can use the power query to extract that uh, all of that sheet names so in here after that I'm gonna format it as table so that whenever there is additional sheet uh, it will be automatically added in the drop-down list when you update the table reference now um, I'm going to go in the home tab and then format as table and format will do. Just make sure that you click uh, my table has header because I have a header here which is the sheet names and then click OK. So you can see here in the design, the name of the table is table 3. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to use table 3 as my uh, name of this table for the sheets. And then the next step is to put it in a name manager. So I'm going to go to the formulas tab and then define name. So I'm going to use the sheet names here for the name. And then on the refers to, I'm going to use table three. Now for the drop down list, I'm going to go to the data and then data validation and then and I'm going to choose the list here and then my source will be an indirect function using the sheet names that uh, we defined in the name form uh, name manager then okay that should be reflected here now you have the data validation now the next step is to work on the product and the total sales so uh, as you can see when you go to the company in sheet the product is in cell B3 at the same with company B, B3, and company C, B3. So I'm going to use uh, company B here as an example. So first, I'm going to refer it here uh, on the product. And then I'm going to check the formatting, reflecting the formula behind it. So this is it. And I'm going to copy this uh, expression here using a text. So to do that, just have uh, an equal sign, then a quote here, and then copy this quote here because that implies that this is the sheet name. Okay, and then use an ampersand and then connect this company B here using this reference cell, the data validation ampersand to connect it. The one quote here, and then a ampersand quote percent and then b3 uh, just type in b3 here and then actually that's okay we copied this uh expression using the text because we're gonna need it and copying it all here copy control c and then put it in here and then shoot it in a indirect function enter and that's it when you change the data validation, then the product will be automatically updated. So that's it. Now for the total sales, that's the same thing. We're going to uh, imitate the same, but in this case, we're going to use the sum function. For example, in company C, we use this uh, column here, all the column to get all the, the sum of all the sales and then enter and copy it in here show the formula so in here i'm gonna copy this part again except the sum but i'm gonna use this text formula here 
it's the same here but I'm gonna replace B3 instead of B3 just use the column C enter and then copy copy it again put it in here okay shoot it in an indirect function and then put it in a sum formula okay enter and that's it now when you change the validation the total sales will be updated so let's check it for company b total sales will be 21050 that's correct for for company a that's 9720 and that's it that's correct that's all of it and i'm pretty sure i'm done if you're liking my videos you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks